and welcome back to another video on my channel how are we doing today to start with just to let you know my dogs are playing silly games at my feet so ignore them if that's the background noise you can hear and I turned 22 a couple of weeks ago so as the title suggests I'm going to tell you what I got for my birthday let's go well this birthday was actually a strange one compared to normal because it techni technically was in five parts I got a laptop that arrived a few days before I went away for my birthday. I then got presents on my birthday. I then spent some birthday money shopping in Spain for my birthday. I then went to Desigual at the end of my holiday <laughs> to spend even more birthday money. And then I had presents at home that my mum and dad had bought me that were too big to travel to Spain with us. So let me start by running through them with you. To start with, the first present I got slashed arrived first was my laptop. It's a HP 15 Pavilion one, you know, the one with all those adverts with the seesaw and things like that. I absolutely love it. It was difficult to buy though, and that's mainly because I had picked a laptop before that I wanted, but it was difficult to get because it was new in at Argos but nowhere sold it, which was slightly strange. And I had to be very specific with what I needed to buy as you will see in one of my blog posts that I'm writing either soon or has gone up, I can't remember where it is, but if I, when it happens I'll put it in the link in the description. I had technical issues with my editing which made my computer die, so I had to buy a new laptop that had 8GB of RAM and had a lot of memory and things like that, so I had to get a laptop that cost more than I was expecting to and was, you know, it just became a whole big malarkey but my uncle who I live with and my grandmother paid towards this along with me and my mum chipping in as well because obviously buying Microsoft as well it makes it quite expensive so we all effectively chipped in for this present and I cannot thank them enough I've used it it is amazing I'm going to be editing this video using it and it loads in two minutes well not even that actually two seconds which isn't an exaggeration it is absolutely amazing so I'm really really happy with that and it's one of the best things I asked for my birthday the other thing I got before we left was this Pandora charm here when it decides to load on it there it is it's Belle's dress from Beauty and the Beast which is my all-time favorite Disney and possibly all-time favorite film hold on one second while I get on this contraption of a chair there we go <laughs> And my cousin got that for me, and she also did my hair for my birthday as well, which was really, really great. I then got presents on my actual birthday, and they're all here for me, so just give me a second. I got some socks, which are Disney-fied. These ones are Jasmine from Aladdin. This one is Ariel from Little Mermaid. Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella from Cinderella. I then got Sleepless in Seattle which I have been wanting for a long time now and finally got. I was actually thinking I was getting it last year but I didn't, I got it this year but it doesn't change it, it's a really good film and I'm really happy with it. I also got this bookmark that my mum made me, I'll just get my head out of frame so you can see it. So it's got my dogs on it that's magic and poppy that's magic that's poppy that's shep and then that's magic and poppy eating each other which is probably my favorite picture on there and then i've got some paw prints with hearts on them which i absolutely love as well i use this to read my book on holiday and i absolutely love it and i cannot wait to start my new book and use this in it I then got some colouring pens, which my mum bought me as I bought a Seussical colouring book with me and had no pens to go with it. Turns out I didn't use them, but I really want them for when I do my bullet journal and things like that, so I'm really happy with it. The other thing with the DVD and the reason that I got it actually in Spain is that a few days before we went, I said how it would be nice to watch a couple of films while we're there for when it's too hot, you can't really do anything, and in case I got bored of reading all the time. So my mum actually bought me a portable DVD player, <laughs> along with my dad, who chipped in for this, I believe. No? <laughs> and I like that it can swivel and things like that. My goddaughter is obsessed with it. She absolutely loves it. My mum then got me a jewellery box, which is to store my jewellery in 
actually no let me zoom this in a bit there we go which my mum got me to store my jewellery in when I go for a shower and things like that and to just store my important jewellery in Magic and Poppy also got me this it says to our very own Star Baker with them eating each other again and then they got me a Star Baker apron which I am so happy about and it's my favourite, favourite, favourite shade of blue as well so I'm really, really happy that I got this and it was completely unexpected a lot of these presents I'm going to show you about I knew because either I'd asked for them or I'd figured out that I was going to get them so I'm really, really happy that I got surprises as well and my mum also made this outfit for my Shep to toy dog Shep which he is going to be wearing it's a chef's outfit the, ha the hat has gone missing but it's around somewhere but she made that for him to wear during my baking videos. As you know, Shep is in all of my videos. He is currently here at the moment, my little boy. So he's going to be wearing that. Oh, he tripped over. He's going to be wearing that during my baking videos from now on. And to go with the socks is the outfit that my mum bought me. I saw this for sale on Etsy and I absolutely love it. It's a Disney castle skirt. Now, I don't tend to wear skirts, but I just fell in love with it and really, really wanted it. So my mum got it for me and I'm very thankful for that. She also bought me two vest tops that are bright pink and blue with little buttons down the middle, which I really like. Now, purple, pink, sorry, pink isn't my favourite colour and she knows this, but pink is hers. So I think she actually bought it for herself, but wanted to give me an extra present. So we'll go with that story. She also bought me this hoodie because I get so cold that I just constantly need hoodies and I actually did wear it on holiday so it bowed, bowed really well, was really good, something like that. And to top it all off, to round the outfit off, she bought me this scarf which goes with every single colour that is on the skirt and I absolutely love it, it's amazing. So now onto the what I bought on my birthday, the shopping segment of this video. I bought a blue vest top which I love, I loved how this was at the top, like cowl neckline which I really liked and it's different designed here and it's super light so I can wear it on any holiday I go over there or anywhere hot so that's probably going to stay in the suitcase for me to wear when I go on holiday and I will always remember that it's from this birthday. Then got this lovely blue vest top which I absolutely love because again it's blue, it's light, it fits all size so it will shrink with me when I lose weight and things like that and again probably stay in the suitcase or I actually might take this out because it's just a lovely vest top as is. My dad then bought me this lovely top now it's got a vest top inside of it and then this out outer outfit of it the outing of it is very very loose and light which I really really like and again it's just lovely it's beautiful I hadn't seen anything like this when I was on holiday before so I'm really happy that I saw it and I actually had the money to be able to buy it as well well my dad bought it for me but you get the gist I then bought these trousers now yes they're denim yes why the heck did I buy them on holiday but I absolutely loved them and so much so that I actually wore these on my birthday dinner when I was gonna wear the blue jumpsuit that I showed you in the last video which I will link in the description below I actually wore this instead along with this vest top as well and the cardigan again that I showed you in the last video and these aren't well these are denim but they're super super light denim denim they kept me warm and they weren't too hot either which I found really really surprising actually these trousers I bought as well they are differently designed in that the they've got shorts inside them because what they do is they split on the edges so where you would have the seam down the side it actually splits and it's like a petal effect where you have the petals crossing over but they've got shorts in them because I've bought trousers like this before but they didn't have they didn't have shorts in them so you could see if you weren't any wearing any underwear or you weren't wearing a bikini and the wind blew you would see everything whereas with this you don't have that problem which I think is great now going on from my last video that I did last week I then got this jumpsuit oh which essentially is the exact same design except I think that this may go a bit higher to where I need it to to stop my legs chafing which would be really really good and it's just blue with striped I thought it was absolutely stunning and they had loads of options like this out there which is really really great so I know next year if we go there again I can get the same sort of thing 
I then got this jumper and I'm obsessed with jumpers you guys know that and it's just super clingy and actually when it's on me it's just super super warm it's super comfortable and I'm really really happy with it, it they did have a blue one but it actually just didn't complement me as much as this one so I'm really really happy with this and I think this is one of the most unique things I picked up so I'm really really happy about that because I like uniqueness and things that stand out which is really great this I absolutely loved when I saw it. I saw it in a shop window and I wasn't going to get it because I thought, oh no, I wasn't sure about the price, I wasn't sure how it would look on me, but I got the bigger size of it and it fits beautifully. I love this design on the front and it's perfectly plain on the back, which I like as well, so it's not too busy, which is really, really great. And these are actually holes through there, so if I wore something plain white or blue or anything, you can see right through it. So it will complement everything as well, which I think is really, really great. And now moving on to what I bought in the airport. Now, I always go to Desigual at the end of every shopping shopping trip, every holiday in Malaga Airport, because that just became kind of tradition, which is really great, because my parents allow me to use up the rest of the currency on it. This year I didn't use as much, because one, I didn't have as much time to spend in there, and two, sorry, time, I didn't have as much time to spend in there. And two, we were saving up money because we're going away, hopefully, for my mum's birthday this year. And so I wanted to buy something that I really, really liked but wasn't too much money at the same time. So I picked this up. It's Mickey Mouse! And I love it. It's two different styles of material. This is very, very light and this is not so thick but thick as well. I liked that it was a sweater-ish. I actually didn't realise when I bought it that this was a different material to this, but I really, really like that it is. And on the back it says, I love the way you are, which is absolutely great. And I absolutely love it. Same with everything that I got, bought and got given for my birthday. Then moving on to what I got when I came back home. And with the power of editing, you will see that this has changed. My mum bought me this screen, which I fell in love with ages ago. I knew I wanted a screen for when we get our own house to change behind and things like that, as I would love to have a walk-in wardrobe and things. But we thought, well, my mum thought, get one for her now, as when I'm down here and changing from videos and things like that, give a bit of privacy, which you don't get a lot of down here because it's quite open plan and there's a, the windows and everything you can see right in here. I then got these CDs from my, oh shoot, there we go, these CDs from my mum. One was Pitch Perfect One, which I said in a past blog post that I really, really liked and wanted the album for. Then she got me the second one with a post-it note on it from her saying, I sense a theme happening. And then the third one, to which she wrote on it, did you guess? So that was really, really great and highly surprising. I did not expect to get those. Along with, I didn't expect to get a Frank Sinatra CD as I love Frank Sinatra and I do have a vinyl of his, but I think that's either broken or it's in storage. I know that along with my vinyl players, I can't fit it here. But I really, really love that she got this for me as I love this type of music and it just made my day to open that. And this is possibly one of my all-time favourite presents that she bought me this year. It is the Andrew Lloyd Webber Unmasked the Platinum Connection. And this has just hundreds, loads of different songs that Andrew Lloyd Webber either contributed or wrote and had something to do with. It's absolutely amazing. It's the ultimate greatest hits. And it was such a shock to get this that I was actually speechless for about five seconds, which is unheard of. It was... It was just great, I can't say much more about it. My mum then got me this, which is a portable perfume holder, so I can put perfume, my selected perfume in this and it can sit in my bag and I can spray it on me if I'm out or if I forget to put some on before I go out, before I go out and things like that, which is excellent. My mum then bought me perfume to go with that, which is the Ghost the Fragrance. I don't know if this is a specific name to it as well but this also came with bath oil and this is one of my all-time favorite perfumes i love this perfume and i'm running out of it at both here and my dad's so it's really really great that she put this in here for me and it's just saving time later on then she bought me something that i've wanted for quite a long time it's the nerdy nummies cookbook 
in my goals video, my business goals video, which I will link in the description, I wrote how I wanted to get and go through these cookbooks so that I can work out what I want in my cookbooks and things like that. And I want to make loads of her recipes for YouTube videos and things like that. And I think she's a massive inspiration. She's a huge inspiration for me in starting YouTube and doing my baking videos and things like that. So I cannot wait to give these things a try. And finally, what I got at home and to round all of this off is a laptop table. Now, to go along with the new laptop, I work up at the house a lot with my uncle while my grandmother goes out to run errands and things like that. And I was having to balance it on about three cushions on my lap. I couldn't put it down so it wouldn't be safe and things like that. So my mum bought me this, which fits perfectly over my thighs when I sit down. So I can put it there and I know that the vent's not being clogged up and things like that. And it actually makes it perfect height as well for me to work on, which is absolutely amazing. And that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this look into what I got for my birthday this year. I will try and leave as many of the links in the description as I can to the items that I got for my birthday. Although I cannot promise to find them all for you as they may not be selling them or just, you know, I can't find them. Check out all the links in the description as I love them all and wouldn't put them there if I didn't. And finally, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye!